We like to believe that we can control the outcome of our lives, that if we train hard enough and persist long enough, success is inevitable. But often, life has other plans. There's a moment of distraction, a gust of wind, a chain out. The element of chance is present in every spinning disc, in every hot streak, in every ace, and in every champion. Life operates on the razor's edge between skill and destiny. And this week, as our players face the final playoff odds, it is anyone's game. Over the next four days, fate and talent will face off. And at the end, only the best players in the world will remain. The 2024 MVP Open at Maple Hill starts now. Hello and welcome to round one of the 2024 MVP Open presented by OTB Disc. We're finally back to Maple Hill. I'm Madison Walker. I'm Erica Stinchcomb. We're your two hot keys. Hawk. A bit chilly out there, a bit rainy, a little bit of wind comes up. Uh, could have been worse, but definitely some conditions out there to contend yeah, with. Could have been better too. It could have been a lot better. Um, Maple Hill is always going to be a yeah. tough one. This is a kind of a drudging start to our playoff week. But before we start, yeah, say hello to Follow Flight Felix. This little fellow is uh, our new mascot. It's a limited collab with uh, Pseudo Dudo, uh, embroidered hats and tees at JomezPro.com. Got some sweatshirts, got some swag. Let's get right into it. Holland Hanley, we have seen her all year long. Uh, 76% fairway hits, 64% C2 in regulation, 79% putting uh, in C1X, and that's throughout the 2024 season. These tee times are set based on the point standing. Holland Hanley in first, Owen Scoggins in second, 79% fairway hits, 78% of her circle 1X putts going in the basket. We have a pretty similar lineup as last week. Not a lot of shuffling, but it's still pretty tight at the top in points. Yeah, I think only 50 points separate these top four women, which is not very much heading into the championships. Um, yep, Missy Gannon, third on our card. And last but not least, you know her, Kristen Tatar. A nice big 150 point points leap after winning the GMC last weekend. And again, like Erica said, it is tight at the top. There is not many points separating. This playoff event is doing what it's supposed to do, coming down to the very end. Uh, we have a short pin position in hole one this year. It's the first time, I think, in my history of 10 years of playing MVP that I've ever seen it like this. Uh, it's 330 feet, just barely over the top of the lake. Pretty self-explanatory that water is out of bounds. If you go in the water, there's a drop zone on the short side of the lake, and it's probably 200 feet. Mm -hmm, just about. We're checking in before we even start. Haiti Line A, don't say we're not covering every single inch of this round. Oh, ace run. This is a fun shot. I mean, you see this pin position here as kind of the normal layout, and I've always wanted to throw it. We love Doug Bierkus in the booth. Very happy to have him in a leadership role at the PDGA. Can't wait to see what he do does in his long career. He's throwing the new MVP parachute. <laughs> <laughs> a nice shot from Doug. That is world champion Paige Bierkus shoes. Father. Mugs, that's mugs. Yeah, Holland in the top position heading into the championships. I believe there are 20 spots this year, right? Heading into the Pro Tour championships. And the better you do in standings, the more of an advantage you have in that format, at least to start. Yeah, the format is very much catered to standings. It's a really nice advantage. A beautiful shot from Holland to start. 
as a distance thrower, this is a pretty straightforward shot. There's plenty of room. You can just kind of dummy a hyzer down there. For someone like Own with more of a flexing game, she's got to read the wind here. She's showing a couple different angles on the disc. She's got the distance, though, to get there. And there's a little bit more room uh, going on the right side like she's doing for an open look at the pin than the left side where the trees are. Yeah. <laughs> Great flex shot. <laughs> this used to be a shot that everyone that everyone struggled to get across. You see a lot of players when we're playing the long pin bailing out to the left, especially in windy conditions. Um, looks like everyone on our lead card, though, is comfortable with this distance. More and more of the entire field is throwing it. It's really, really a cool uh, just improvement across the entire board. Um, how many ladies do we have playing today? Was it 38? It was. I think that's right. Missy across. Yeah, 38. Big arm Missy went a little bit deep. Yeah, 38. Of the best women. And very tight all the way down to 20th place. Very much a battle to get into the championships in just a few weeks. Yeah, we're going to be talking about who's going to win this actual event during commentary. But we're also going to talk a little bit about the cut line as well. Keep you guys posted. Yeah, this is crazy. I guess I didn't really think that much about it. This is our last just tour regular event. event. Yeah. We have throw pink, but whoa. What a year, friends. Missy Gannon up first. I'm pretty deep in circle two. Gives it a little bit of a run there. Missy shooting, I believe, course record last week uh, at Brewster Ridge, 10 down. Yeah. Uh, couldn't miss a putt. Yes, she can today. Just kidding. <laughs> I mean, she did, but Kristen a little bit low on her putt. Holland from a bit closer. You can see there's a gentle breeze. It doesn't really get too bad until the back nine. Yeah, just a bit of a drizzly morning at first. It, the rain gets a little bit more steady as the round goes on, but then um, takes a, a couple breaks here and there. And own able to convert. How many ladies got it today? 25% of the field. There were nine birdies. I think it's, I love having different pin positions on one course. Me too. Instead of having two courses, it's nice to mix things up. And we do this rounds one and two, right? Yep. And then three and four, it'll be the long position. But it's kind of nice. We have a new pin position on hole nine as well. So we play short here, long on nine, and then flip flop for days three and four. There is no cut this weekend. Even though we are significantly further south than Smuggler's Notch, we still have some fall leaf change happening. Some red and yellow trees all over the property. Maple Hill really showing out. Hole two is a par three, 299 feet, a bit uphill, and so plays a little bit farther. I like a flippy fairway driver, but you can work a couple of different shots. OB rock wall on the right is really the only mistake you can't make. Uh, often the mistake is to kind of push the trees on the left on a turning shot. You get caught up in that dry creek bed. Definitely very birdieable for anyone in the field, but you can see even from Paige Pierce, it's a bit of a touchy line. She definitely gets a little fortunate through those two trees, but Let's see, looks like she's gonna convert on this putt. Nothing fortunate about that, that's pure skill. Yeah, the perfect line requires you to either go aggressive turnover right at that out of bounds wall or try to hyzer flip something up the middle and push straight and make sure you don't dump it. I like Owen's play here, but she's gonna get tangled up on that rock wall and it puts you into circle two almost every time. Like 45, you think? Yeah, Yeah. uphill too. But a nice safe play with a look at it though. Uh, roll away is always a risk at Maple. Holland very inside. Going to be flirting with the rock wall, but she checks up. It's kind of weird not to have our champion from last year, Haley King, on the card. Yeah. You know, you're so used to the last year's winner being here. But I do like being grouped with who you're paired with in the standings. Missy not quite getting that disc to turn, but gets a nice little kick. Kristen working a little bit more of a flippy shot. It doesn't quite get the disc to flip. It filters through, though. She will have a long putt for her birdie. 
those flags nice and slack at this point in the round. Maybe just the gentlest of drizzles happening. More of a mist than anything. Let me see with a bit of a half go. This is probably the most fall colors I've personally seen at Maple Hill. Yep. Beautiful backdrop. This plate has the a tie for the second easiest hole of the day. There were 10 birdies out of 38 competitors. Oh, weird. I was just looking at Statmando's stats. Haley King, who won this event last year, she's gone seventh, second, seventh, second, seventh. So we're predicting she's going to get second here. That's at the last five <laughs> events. Oh, Isn't really? That nuts? Yeah. That's weird. Consistency. Co yeah. Professionalism. <laughs> Haley King. That is quite a long putt to ring up. Looks like everyone's just going to be tapping out their pars. Uh, even par usually plays quite well at Maple. Um, the wind is definitely down more than years past. Let's see, last year, was it the windstorm last year and all yep. the rain the year before? I, yes, I think so. Yeah, so the, it's like usually just storms the just year before. A mild nightmare when we come here, and it's <laughs> yeah. not too bad today. We've seen flood, we've seen. Eight-hour lightning delays. It's biblical proportionate storms. We had, we had like wind delays. Of yeah. the fir first and only wind yeah. delay that Last we've ever year. seen. Uh huh. Trees were breaking. It was wild. Had a couple or a handful actually of two for two starts out here. Here is hole three, a long par three at 354. Uphill plays longer than that, but it does feel very reachable by everyone in the field. <laughs> I'm trying to, there's a lot of things you want to avoid here. Yeah. There's only one shot really that works. You, you got to throw a kind of a force flex, maybe something flippy that fades at the end, but how uphill it is, that shot is a lot more difficult and you often find yourself in circle two. Here's Natalie Ryan throwing the force turn, getting a little tree love. And not the way you were describing, nope. but it, most of the way up there. A couple of trees, she should high five them on the way. Oh, but that's wow. not luck. Big putt from Natalie, who won this event two years ago, uh, down to the final hole, I believe. You want to avoid, of course, early trees. Early right and left are both really, really hard to recover from. Early right, I think, is a little bit worse because it's so steep uphill. Early left, though, you are in tree jail. Colin up next. That's looking good if it misses. That is the one yeah. tree to avoid, and she slips by on the right side. Oh, yeah. Is that a bullseye hit? It looks like it. Oh, I don't have her list yet. I wish I knew what she threw. Looks like Colin Hanley is just a bit out of the bullseye. Beautiful shot. Missy trying that hyzer flip play, getting some gentle fade and good enough to put her in circle two. Yeah, that, I think that that is like the more typical result of a good shot. It's so difficult to do what Holland did and throw that great shot that flexes out at the end. Yeah, you really have to throw it as hard as you can. Mm -hmm. And it's a touchy shot, so it feels kind of crazy to do that. Kristen catching that one tree you want to avoid. It Thankfully, she's in the fairway. Yeah, it is that one, isn't it? Mm -hmm. That's the one. Good amount of work left for Kristen. The tee pads were a bit slick, not not too bad, but um, the there's a lot of slippery roots and difficult ground conditions. So um, there was like probably a hundred million acorns. Oh yeah, slippery acorns. Slippery round. It's like trying to walk on marbles everywhere. Wet marbles. Own giving it a nice run, as she does. See if Missy can get on the board. Did someone tell us last week that large acorns mean we're going to have a harsh winter? Oh, they told us that in um, Michigan okay. last week. Ooh, oh, Missy dang. Gannon. Missy Gannon heating up the fall. <laughs> big old hyzer putt. I love the, the focused yeah. before she makes a big one. Mm. Yes. Uh, last week I was told that the woolly bears, which is the black and brown caterpillars, uh, 
uh-huh. dictate the winter. More, the oh. more black they are, the more harsh they are. Uh-huh. But it's the the acorns in Michigan. I don't know what it is in Massachusetts. Bigger acorns equal worse winter. More more meat for the squirrels to pack away in the ground. <laughs> this is pretty classic here. A bunch of tappins for par. Holland, though, going to show us how it's done. There were there were only three birdies today. We got to watch two on our lead card. We saw Natalie with the check-in as well. Wow, cool to see all of them. Yeah, only two people got to circle one in regulation. Mm-hmm. Touchy shot. Mm-hmm. My buddies and I just helped grow the global disc golf community. Check it out. We got our favorite shirts at Quirky Goodies. And a percentage of the sales proceeds go to the Paul Macbeth Foundation. They build great disc golf courses all around the world. I picked up three shirts for myself. This one's my favorite. Hey, if you're like me and you're always looking for a discount code, use this one. Jomez Pro 15. That'll give you 15% off. QuirkyGoodies.com. Buy a shirt. Make a difference. Hole four. I love this hole. It is intimidating, but just a fun one to park. Uh, absolutely dangerous. 246 feet downhill. Uh, how big do you think the gap is off the tee? Oh, Eight? five feet. Okay, yeah, it's six feet. Not much. I like a little flip up um, forehand to get all the way there. Backhand does work. There's a backhand hyzer route. Main thing is you can't throw it too hard because the water man is just right behind it. Yeah, I think as the crow flies, it's like eight or ten, but the way, like the way it looks, is so little. Mm-hmm. There is a mandatory that takes out the pure hyzer. The hyzer I'm talking about is kind of a standstill from the left corner of the tee pad, and you throw down the right side of the fairway. I think Missy might be lining that up. Holland gonna have to scramble. This is the one I'm talking about. And this can get you all the way down there, but most often leaves you with a circle two look. But Missy, wow, laces it down there. It's a sketchy one, too, because you can very easily catch those branches that Missy kind of skirted through, drop down, and have a really tough approach. Oh, check out this follow flight. Yes. This, to me, is the best play for par. Like, you don't often get all the way down there, but you're going to get down there enough to make it an easy approach. Missy, with one of the coolest shapes of a follow flight I've ever seen. Yeah, Did you see little, all those the colors? disc on the dance floor. Yeah. It had its little solo moment. <laughs> Own, I think trying the same line as Missy, but too tight. Kristen going to go with the for, flex forehand. It's more of a straight shot than a flex shot. She's going to catch that one left tree you want to get around. We'll see what she has for an approach. It can be tough over there on the right side. Oh, and looking straight down at it. You want to come in soft. You can pretty quickly ramp into the water. Own going to drop down to the bottom stair, but be safe. Kristen from pretty deep on the right side navigates that really nicely. I like that one of the um, obstacles on the fairway is a little wood pile. I do too. Yeah. And I can't tell if you're being sarcastic. No, I but do I, like okay, it. Okay, I do. Yeah, I yeah. also like it. <laughs> it's like cute cabin vibes. The gnome on this hole also. Mm-hmm. If you didn't watch our practice round at Maple Hill, we were grateful to get that opportunity to play with Rebecca Cox and. Uh, Mad does a little selfie with a gnome on this hole. That was gnome delightful. Gnome, gnome, gnome. Colin recovering well with the par. Rain kind of starts again at this point. There were seven birdies on this hole out of 38 competitors. Missy with the tap in. Yeah, she threw a Z swarm off the tee. <laughs> Back to back birdies, yeah. I've never even heard of that. Me neither. <laughs> Do you think she has like a hundred others in her bag? <laughs> Swarms? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> god. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Natalie Ryan in first place, three down through four. Ooh. Hole five. Missed. Yeah, hole five looking majestic. Um the way the drone flies is a route. 
that you can take a forehand or a big backhand turnover but that gap is so small and you have to be so strong to throw the forehand well we will see some people on our card try it out the route that mere mortals take is up the right side uh there's a hyzer gap you do have to get a little lucky at the end there's some roots we're gonna watch missy try to chance it some roots a bunch of trees not really one good gap the play is to try to wrap it as tightly as you can past the last tree but you can't see it it's a good shot but this this route is the safest and might end up in a bogey yep. pretty easily but often ends up in a par. There's a middle route. I watched Danny Clyden park the hole through the middle route. Really? On which, purpose? Yeah. And it's like, that one seems so risky. But if you get through, you're, you're probably looking at a birdie. And yeah. this is the highest risk. But like, if you're clean, again, a birdie. So I let... Colin makes that look easy. She's got the perfect forehand for this. Yeah, she She's does. She's got that hyzer power forehand yeah. that most women don't have. A really tall hyzer, too. But I really like the kind of three different routes of risk reward on this one. Own doesn't quite get through the last little grouping of trees. Her and Missy both push a little straighter than you want. Kristen also with a nice, powerful forehand. She can throw such a great variety of shapes with this shot, and that's looking good. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, oh, oh just Not a quite. Yeah, a little low, a little wide. There is a drop zone that is... So punishing. It is punishing, but doable if you're comfortable with a forehand approach. Which we know she is. But it's oh. easy to do this. Yeah. And then leave yourself eat. That oh. was a fortunate break. Very friendly. Uh, yeah, this can turn into a double very quickly from that drop zone. Own trying to pick a line through here. There's not one great one. She's making it work. The only other person that I know that goes forehand through there is Haley King. You occasionally see some backhands. Forehand through where? Through the, uh, sorry, I just <laughs> thought you were in my brain. Uh, <laughs> on the left gap from the T. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Missy just having to pitch up. Yeah, Holland and Haley are the only ones, is that right? That I think do forehand. Yep. You occasionally see some backhands, and Kristen today, but I don't know that she always does it. Yep. Going to be a bogey for Kristen today. And she has one of the most powerful forehands in the field, so it just demonstrates how difficult this shot is. Yeah, powerful and consistent. Yes. Own playing a nice, clean game of golf. Holland doing the same, getting her second birdie. Look at this little peaceful view. Makes you want to be at home on a couch and not playing disc golf. <laughs> yeah, nice steaming mug of tea. Yeah. Soothing goose voices <laughs> You're in the feeling background. Very sleepy. <laughs> oh, wow, look at this. Colin and Missy now tied for fourth. Raven Klein, Natalie Ryan in the lead, three down through five. Hole six. Just look how narrow it is. Such a scary hole. It's a par three, 310 feet. Another OB rock wall on the right. OB water on the left. They tuck this pin kind of up and right a little bit. And I, was this elevated last year? No. Okay, and they also elevated it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's quite a bit closer to that rock wall. It is. Um, so you can do a flex forehand. You can do kind of a hyzer flip straight pushing shot. You can do a whole lot of stuff, but the main thing is stay in bounds. It's very hard to get a circle one putt on this. Natalie really riding that right side rock wall, trusting her disc, not qu trying to get too aggressive here. She's got a long putt. No way. Oh, wow. No that's way. not even a putt. That's a throw in, yeah. right? She's outside circle two. She's deep circle two. I think just an inside okay. circle two. But wow. That's a really obstructed putt as well. Very cool. The You can tell the course team has done a lot of work this year. They cleared out a lot of the rough areas. We appreciate that for everyone on the ground with the clippers in hand. Ooh, Holland, really smooth shot, never in any danger. That used to not really be a viable play, mm -hmm. just hides are flipping up the left side. Um, yeah, now, it's much clearer. Now I, I feel like it is the play. I think it's the highest percentage play for sure. Missy yeah. doing the same thing. Wow. That used to circle. be a wall of trees. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Own going to try the forehand. As long as you get around that one big tree on the left-hand side, you're good. Yep. I like this play a lot, but boy, that tree is just staring you down right in the face. Mm -hmm. Typically, this shot, I think, has the better chance of parking the hole. Own, not the best ground play, but she's putting. 
Uh, I was just checking, and the best score last year was a seven down, um, both in round two. Oh, no. Yeah. Kristen tangled up really early. We'll see what she has to work with. You said seven down, both in round two? In round two and round four from Haley King. Okay. Who won. Kristen and Owen both shot sixes. Oh, Evelina also shot a seven. And Kristen has shot a six. So, And the conditions were... Maybe a little bit worse, but that's that's such a good score out here. Yeah, Kristen, giving herself a putt to potentially recover the par here. I know it's tough over there. I've been there. Holland trying to <laughs> shoot the gap. Kind of a half bid. Yeah, at least she got through there. Look at this ethereal mist happening in the background. Own um, with a sketchy little putt. <laughs> yeah, right at OB. Yeah. No fear. Never. She's never been afraid in her life. <laughs> Kristen, to save par, a similar distance. Wow, impressive save. There were only four birdies on that hole. Owen was the only person, oh, so, sorry, Owen and Missy were the only two people to get inside the circle. Let's see if Missy can convert another one here. Oh. Banned. Committed putt. Yeah, it looks like we watched Natalie Ryan get the birdie from deep circle two. Valerie Mandahano and Paige Pierce both got twos from outside of circle two. Wow. Yeah. Both of them. Very cool. Don't know if I'm a fan of this change here. I am for course flow and spectators walking. Yeah. Uh, but the other... Hole, I think was easier to birdie. Yeah, having the elevated basket that close to OB feels a little, oh. a little weird. I was moving on to the next one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. This sport is about trust. It's about confidence in your disc. All the untold hours of development and commitment are here for you. The MVP Pro Shop. Start your journey today. Here is new hole seven. I'm really glad they changed this hole. There's a lot more room for spectators and just traveling through the course in general. It's also a cooler hole. <laughs> <laughs> um, the gap is narrow, but wide enough to where you know you can send one through confidently. The basket's perched on a hill that um, can produce rollaways, but it's not as likely. It's a little mushy on the ground. Let's watch Ella Hansen and see what she's what, how she's attacking this hole. I like a lower speed disc here. Oh yeah, and she laces the gap, gets the ground play. Yeah, and glues on those wood chips. Uphill putt. Beautiful play from Ella. Yeah, this is a cool shot. This is the one I was saying. I think the other one was slightly easier to birdie, but I think overall this is such a great change. Uh, and yeah, I actually like it more even though it's harder to birdie. I don't know why I think this one's easier to birdie. Or maybe it's just I'm less scared of the mis of making a mistake. Yeah, I think the last hole the, had really high risk. It had high risk, yeah. But like if you if you piped it, you probably had a putt. Yeah. This one did they do you think that was intentional? No. Okay. There is a shank and flex route over on the right. I found it. <laughs> um, but I was curious if anyone was trying that because it's more open than it looks if you get through that right side. I, yeah, I think it's such a pure line here that no one yeah. would really try to do that on purpose. Mm -hmm. And also it's a new hole, so we haven't all mastered the shank and flexes yet yeah. of, of the uh, fairway. We can't all do it. <laughs> I see inside the circle looking at an another birdie. One thing that's tough here, though, is if you land on the left side of the green, it is really, really downhill. Mm -hmm. It feels a little funny. Kristen, a little bit of an early release there. And likely going to be a blind shot. Um, with a lot of work left here. Going to be putting for a par. Good recovery. I like that you can see the top of the flagpole from the basket, too. That's a a design that I don't think we utilize quite enough. Yeah, definitely. This is a tough lie. Kristen unable to put her foot where the tree is, so it has to go right behind. No problem for her standstill forehand finesse. Ah, one final tree to beat. Oh, 
Yeah, there's a lot of blind holes where I wish we had a big pole on top of it. Yeah. It's cooler because it allows people to attack. Yeah. It, they're great at, at it out here all mm-hmm. over Maple Hill, but you're right. We don't often see that. Or maybe it's one on the course and there's multiple blind shots. Yeah. Cool tomahawk from Holland Hanley. Cool putt from Owen to save par. That was like an ultimate player flex and then some classic Owen stuff. <laughs> we got it all for you in FPO. Wide straddles, the <laughs> widest straddle you've ever seen. We so have wide. it. <laughs> oh, man. Such a good effort. Going to be another bogey for Kristen. Still no birdies on the scorecard. Missy looking way down at it. Solid run. It is an awkward one to put. It's one of those ones where you maybe want to putt from a knee because mm-hmm. you're just so above it. Which I never do. I like to just miss them. I like to be stubborn <laughs> and do my normal putt and then mess up. I put it from a knee from like 12 feet. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> yeah, for down the hill. <laughs> it worked. Nice. Um, seven birdies on this hole today. I think we'll see more as the weekend progresses as everyone figures out this hole. But really smart change and... The course is looking great. Also, did you see how many spectators came out on a rainy Thursday? I did not see, but I could hear you could them. Hear them. The roar. Mm-hmm. It felt like a championship Sunday roar. It was awesome. And even on the rainy day. Hole eight, my absolute favorite. 299 feet of pure joy if you make it across because there's a nice little crowd of eight holers over there who are going to cheer for you like you've never heard before. Just so loud. They slow clap you in. It's an island. You got to go from a drop zone that I always forget how far it is. What you, like 45, 50? Yeah. 50 downhill. Uh, this is just a roaring good time over here. It uh, looks like Valerie Manduhano was actually heading towards Out of Bounds and gets some nice tree love. Oh, it was Paige. Sorry, I was looking at the, the wrong deal. <laughs> and a great birdie. Yes. Here is the king of the eight holes. Zach Benson himself, everybody. <laughs> and this is Thursday. Y'all just wait for Sunday. Just wait. A sunny Sunday. Ugh. I love them. Own and up first. She's working the flex play. Oh, <laughs> no, it's not. Oh. It's outside the line. Dang. And even though it's only 299, this one takes a little bit of extra power if you're just punching it straight, if you're not doing the flex play like Own did. Man, that was heading right back into. And unfortunately, even though she crossed, she's going to have to go to that drop zone. The rain starting to pick up here. It got heavy for a second. Oh, That's a really nice rain noise. Yeah. Holland working a hyzer, trying to get lucky through that same tree. Come on. Oh, the tree's not having it. I like throwing more towards the left and working a turning shot into the green. Me too, or straight at it. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of room on that left side. You can see the, the advertisement wall, the OTB wall. Oh, this is a Missy Gannon special, everybody. Oh, She's sure going is. Z color sh- crasher. Absolutely beautiful shot. On a rope straight at it. Oh, dead straight, a little over 300. Missy Gannon's got that on lock. And a solid looking shot from Kristen. Just needs to get up and over. Yeah. Opto Explorer from her. Beautiful shot. I'd say 50% landing safe is like pretty typical on hole eight. What do you think? Yeah. Tw- <laughs> <laughs> they wait till the line. The yep. cheer. The first person crosses the line. We just waited there to see if they would keep doing it, and they did. Yeah, this is the most OB of any hole. Wow. Oh, I'm just laying up. 22 OB strokes. Yeah. Some so of those, about 50, oh, more than 50 percent. More than 50 percent. Oh, Some of those could have come from hitting the cage and rolling OB. I almost did that today. Or yeah. just sending it from here and going OB, which I have done many times. Yes. Oh. Man, I love seeing a run on this one. Me too. 
This plate is the third most difficult hole of the day. Thirty percent of the field birdied. Ah, Missy band again. Looking committed out there though. Thirty percent birdie, forty percent bogey. Wow. Kristen for her first birdie of the round. There yeah. we go. A good one to do it on. Wow, I got a par on this one. There's only 13% of the field a par. Yeah. A rare number. There was only five. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Classic birdie bogey hole. <laughs> yeah. And a few special little flowers who parred. <laughs> Uh, and then you grab your candy that they provide for you and, and they have, move on to hold on. They have a really nice selection yes. and variety of candy. Great assortment. We love you, eight holes. I'm glad we showed a little bit more of it on coverage because mm -hmm. I always talk about it and the slow clap, man, it's the best. Wow, Natalie Ryan, five down through eight currently insane she looks forward to this event fiercely all year hole nine let's wrap things up with this brand new long pin it's usually a par four that you have to crest the hill and land just over that blue mvp banner into the green you can see the basket there we've seen it a million times but now they said let's do some fun new stuff mm. added this basket way at the top of this hill cleared out a bunch of woods and your second or third shot now has to cross another little pond. Um, I can't believe it's only 600. It feels 600 as the crow flies yeah. and a thousand well, the how you have to throw the it. The par four is like 410 or something comical. Yeah. yeah, It might even be less than that. But this one um, definitely feels longer than 600. Yeah. And okay, so to do it, to birdie this thing, I would say there's two landing zones that are 10 feet or less that mm -hmm. you have to land in to even get a reliable look. Yeah, because you have to, you almost have to have a run up. Coming from someone that can throw standstill pretty far, you do almost have to have a run up here because it is so far and so uphill mm -hmm. to be able to get there on your second shot. And I think we're seeing a little bit more aggressive tee shots than normal because to get to the next landing zone, it definitely um, benefits you to be a little bit farther on this hill than you normally have to be. That's a perfect shot for my own. Yeah, this change yeah, is crazy. It used to be good to land a little bit more right off the tee. That was great for your approach to the green. Now it kind of can pinch you off if you're too early. You want to have a little finish like Holland's doing here. That's great. She is kind of pinched up on that tree. She may not be able to go across. We'll see what she... Oh, you think people are going across on their second? Oh, yeah. Uh, I think people are. I don't even think of that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, most of us, no, 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 are thinking about this layup play that Own honestly really gets punished for. She did it pretty well, hits a root, goes OB, and that's what I'm talking about. That landing zone is like 10 feet where you need to land to go for it. If you it's so bumpy. You mm -hmm. see Missy getting some ground play as well. If you land a little farther than Missy did on the road, it's an absolute power shot from there. Kristen, definitely too pinched here. What do you think about this change? Um, I, I don't mind it. I don't either. I think it's pretty cool. I think in combo with the shorter uh, pin hole placement one. on hole one and playing it two rounds, I think it's great. Yeah. I'm glad we're not doing it every day. I like that there's potential to eagle it as well. Totally. I wonder if we'll... I bet we see one this weekend. Mm -hmm. Oh, Missy having to pitch out twice... Oh, and this is tough. It's how far do you think it is from this corner? I think it's two, maybe two twenty-five. Yeah, but it's so uphill that it, it plays more like three. Well, from where Missy is, it plays more like three hundred. From where Kristen is, it plays like three fifty. Totally, yeah. And there's kind of two main gaps here. Kristen actually going kind of to the right side of the biggest gap, but totally pipes it down there and gets outside the circle. Really powerful shot. I think most women are going on this right side. You can see it, the two main gaps. Holland kind of going. Oh, Ooh. good. Nice. That's the main one. Nice. And this was a tough shot. This is where some of the footing was really tricky. You are very happy with a birdie putt on this one. Yeah, and a par feels good. 
Missy not probably intending to go inside, but it works really well. Wow, nice. Man, these are some powerful shots. Yeah, this plate is the second most difficult hole. I think a lot of that has to do with everyone trying to figure it out, but also there is so much out of bounds. And this gap, even though it does look big on the camera angle, it's not. And everyone on the card is getting through it. It's not. You catch one of those trees and you are instantly OB at the bottom of the hill. Mm -hmm. Also, it is really a powerful shot to get inside the circle from where all of them went. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I'm very impressed. Kristen uh. has a really narrow gap to putt through, comes out just a bit early, still some work to do. Holland, just outside the circle, very uphill putt for birdie. Very uphill. She's looking a little bit frustrated. Missy also just under the berm. Yeah. Ooh, nice. Great par save. Check out Under the Berm, a new <laughs> podcast by your favorite two hot trolls. <laughs> what a great save after pitching out twice. Yeah, no kidding. Usually if you pitch out once, you're kind of lucky to, not lucky, mm -hmm. you're not too mad about a bogey at that point. Yep. And a nice putt from Own to save par as well from an OB stroke that she really didn't deserve. It was a good shot. Yeah. There were only two birdies today, Kat Merch and Haiti Line. Got the fours. I think we will see more tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I haven't looked recently, but I think conditions are theoretically going to improve. But not for the back nine coming up. <laughs> yeah, it does not get any easier out there. Right now, we have a tie for the lead with Anik and Sten and Natalie Ryan, both three down through nine. You felt really good about being under par today in general. We yeah, also you did. have a hot goose and a tie for third with Missy huh. Gannon. I can do it, you guys. Yeah. I just have to believe in myself. Yeah. <laughs> we like to hear that. Everyone honk from your couches. All right. All right. Tone it down. <laughs> um, to be in the top 10, you got to be under par. Um, yeah, that, that's <laughs> pretty. I feel like that's pretty typical for yeah, Maple Hill. Very, and yeah. it's pretty impressive to see everyone shooting so well, even in the adverse conditions. Absolutely, the best wind, of the best out here. Yeah, the wind does pick up a little bit more on the back. Come hang out, watch uh, the first round of four. I'm Madison Walker. I'm Erica Stinchcomb. We're your two hot geese, honk. <laughs>